Welcome to our class. In our last video, we have considered quadratic equation by completing the square. And now we want to consider the solution of quadratic equation by method of quadratic formula. So with help of quadratic formula, we can solve any quadratic equation. Now, the formula which can be proved by completing the square will not be considered there. The, the proof will not be considered there. But we are going to give out the formula because we are only dealing with the solution alone. Now, that's the formula for this quadratic equation is giving us s equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So this is what we call quadratic formula. In this quadratic formula, when we want to solve quadratic equation using this quadratic formula, there are two things you need to know. You need to know how to, how to recognize your A, B, C, then you memorize the formula. When you have known the two, then you don't have any problem. For instance, if you have something of this nature, then we say that A is 2 here. Yeah. B is 3, and here, C is um, 5. So if we consider another one, you observe that there is nothing in this place. So in that case, we say that A is 1. What is here is our B. B is minus 2. This one, Y, C is um, minus 1. So we need to recognize our A, B, C. So if you have recognized it, then you don't have any problem. Now let's take example on this. We want to solve for x using quadratic formula. The first thing is we need to take note what's our a, what's our b, what's our c. They are there. There's not what is beside this x square is your a. And you can see that there's nothing here, so you pick it as one. Yeah, what is beside s here is two, and this one is your c minus eight. So having known that, the next thing is we can call this formula. And that will give me x is equal to this. Now, you, you will substitute all these values into this formula. Then we see that s is equal to, what is here is minus, minus, followed by b. Our b is 2. You can see, you put 2 there, plus or minus root of b squared our b is 2 so i will say 2 squared minus 4 you follow the formula strictly like that you'll be inserting all those things there 4 follows followed by a our a is 1 followed by another thing which is c our c is um, minus 8 then everything over the formula 2a, our a is 1. From that place, we say that s is equal to minus 2 plus or minus root of, this will give me 4, 2 squared is 4. This is minus 4 times minus 8. That will give me plus 32. Then everything over 2 times 1 is 2. I'm writing it. 4 plus 32 will give me 36. Then over 2. It's easy from this place. Square root, sorry, I don't need the square root again. I, you find the square root of 36. That one is 6 divided by 2. So from this place, what do we have? This thing, we have considered it the other time. It simply means minus 2 plus 6 over 2. Or... S is equal to minus 2 minus 6 divided by 2. Now, minus 2 plus 6, that is 4. 4 divided by 2, this is 2. Or S is equal to minus 2 minus 4 minus 6, that is minus 8 divided by 2. Minus 8 divided by 2 will give me minus 4. So these are the values of the, these are the solutions of this uh, quadratic equation. 
Let's consider another example. We want to consider this. The first thing is recognize your A, recognize your B, and recognize your C. Your A is what is beside this S square. The number alone, which is 3. Your B is 4. While your C is um, minus, minus 4. Another thing, if you recognize your A, another thing is remember your formula. So pause the video and write out the formula where you are, whether you are going to get it. So the formula is S is equal to this. So you need to recall the formula. Then we need to substitute all these values. Starting from the formula starts from minus. Let's write out the minus, then followed by B. Our B is 4. Plus or minus square root of B square. 4 squared minus 4 A. Our A is 3. Followed by C. Our C is minus 4. We put it there. Over. Followed by 2. Followed by A. Our A is um, 3. From that place, we have minus 4. Plus or minus square root of 4 square will give me 16. Remember, this is minus here. Eh? This minus times minus here eh, will quickly become 4. So, it eh, will quickly become plus. Now, let's multiply these three numbers together. That is 4 times 3 times 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 4 is um, 48. So, divided by 2 times 3 will give me 6. In that place, we have S is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of so we add this together which is um, 16 plus 48 that should give me 64 divided by 6 from that place you will need to find the square root of 64 which is 8 then over 6 so our s is equal to minus 4 plus 8 over 6 or you write it like that or s is equal to minus 4 minus 8 over 6 minus 4 plus 8 over 6 or minus 4 minus 8 over 6 minus 4 plus 8 is just 4 over 6 or minus 4 minus 8 that is a minus 12 over 6 what can go here now is 2 2 in 4 this is 2 over 3 or minus 12 divided by 6, that is a minus 2. So that is our answer. Now let's consider another example on this. S squared minus 5s plus 6 equal to 0 is another important example. As usual, we need to recognize our A. Our A is 1. What is there? But there's nothing there, so we put 1 there. This is our B. Our B this is um, minus 5. So you need to watch out for that minus. But C is just 6. We don't, if it is plus, you don't need to put plus. But when minus is there, you must put it. So this is our A. This is our B. This is our C. The next thing now is we recall the formula. And the formula gives S is equal to this. Now, let's substitute those formulas there. Starting from... What if here yeah, is, is minus? Let's let me write the minus first, then follow by this b. Our b is minus five. Don't forget. So we have minus five here. This is minus b. Followed by plus or minus square root of b squared minus five squared. Followed by minus four. Followed by A. Our A is 1. This is our A here. Followed by C. Our C is 6. Over 2A. Our A is um, 1. From that place, without stressing yourself, there is double minus here. It will become plus. Minus times minus will become plus. So it is that is just ordinary 5 there. Plus or minus square root of minus 5 all square is um, 25. 
So this square will cancel this minus. So it will be 25. Minus 4 times 1 times 6 will give me 24 over 2. There, s is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 24 will give me 1 over 2. Square root of 1 will give me 1 over 2. I'll find square root of 1. So from that place, I will just write s is equal to 5 plus 1 over 2 or s is equal to 5 minus 1 over 2. 5 minus 1 over 2. Therefore, s is equal to 5 plus 1, that is 6. 6 divided by 2 will give me 3. Or s is equal to 5 minus 1, that is 4. 4 divided by 2 will give me 2. So that is our answer. So that is that about quadratic equation using quadratic formula. Another important one is a quadratic equation by factorization method. Now, in our next video, we are going to consider that. But before then, let us introduce to let, let us introduce you to the method of factorization. Meanwhile, let's take the following as assignment. We practice this. Let's take the following as practice question. We use quadratic formula for it. So we use the quadratic formula. This quadratic formula, we use it for it. So we move now to factorization method.